Stein like R.L. Stein. Writing like famous authors. They are all either pantsers or plantsers. Into Preptober, it would be a good idea to try outlining like a true plotter. R.L. Stein has described his own work as being completely plot driven. Bob talks about the idea store. This is got three sections in it. The first section is observations. Most hated pieces of advice to writers is write what you know. But in this case, I will agree with Bob. I don't think you need to necessarily write your life story. My favorite scenes in The Thing of the Stuff is a scene about chickens. <laughs> Fight between my characters Tower and Ginny because they're late, because they slept in, because the rooster didn't wake them up, because Tower killed the rooster in the night because the rooster was making noise. I had neighbors that had chickens and they were very noisy and keeping me up at night. And I didn't kill the chicken in real life. Second section of the idea store is your memory. So Bob often pulls from his childhood fears for his goosebump stories. Wrote like Amy Tan, I did a memory exercise that actually gave me the shakes and it really helped me write a scary scene for my ghost story that I just finished. This isn't therapy, it's writing. It's creative writing. The last section of the store is your imagination and stretching things to the absurd is my favorite things to do. And a mind mapping part of it, just write down everything you know about the story. Everything, anything you can think of, bits of dialogue, bits of character, bits of anything that you can think of that will get you into the story. Tie those together, create lines or draws or circles that draws that all together and makes it make sense in my head. That'll look different for you. Then start outlining. Identify your main characters, the central conflict, the beginning, the middle, and the end. R.L. Stein has been criticized at having little to zero characterization. In his master class, Bob shares with us how he outlines his characters, focuses on their personal appearance, the main character, how they feel, and a little bit of backstory. This simple outline is not only a great place to start our Preptober, but it is also it's intentional because his goal is for children, his readership, to be able to impose their own identity on onto the character. Carl Stein says to start with who's going to read your book. Where is it going to be in the bookshop? He tells the story of his first book, How to Be Funny, that he walked into a bookstore and said, where can I find How to Be Funny? And they said, it's in theater arts. Well, this was a book for kids. Why wasn't it in the kids section? Your readers won't be able to find your book if the bookstores don't know where to put it. So think about that. Think about what's in the bookstore and where is your book going to go? so that your readers can find it. He is also an avid outliner to the extent that he doesn't actually believe in pantsing. He doesn't believe in the idea that the characters or the story could in some way inform the author. He believes the author is in complete control and he feels that that is sort of fluff that is told to interviewers. I'm not going to say that's true. I have experienced that myself, where a character has surprised me. But I find it very interesting that he does not understand that experience at all. Once you have your character outlines, the next thing you want is your basic scenes and to do an outline. He takes a week to do an outline and writes 15 to 20 pages. We have some time during Preptober, so why don't we give it a go? You don't have to use your porch. You can actually use paper if you would like, but the porch works too. You wanna to write down every scene, every chapter, if you're gonna break it up into chapters. Uh, Arl Stein likes really short chapters to keep his young audience reading. This is where he puts in all his twists, all his cliff, his teases, his jokes, his new vocabulary words because he's writing for middle grade readers, so he wants to make sure he keeps that language accessible to them. He says this gives you a head start. He never gets writer's block. Imagine that. Never has writer's block. And I feel like Heading into NaNoWriMo, everything we can do to make sure that we don't get writer's block is ideal. If we're gonna hit that 1,600 words a day, then we need to make sure we beat the block. And Arl Stein says he never gets it. 
if you believe them or not. 15 to 20 pages in shock on my veranda was a bit of a, um, I ran into a bit of a, a, a space problem. <laughs> but all in all, uh, the, I found this actually quite helpful. It helped me get down all my thoughts in a, in a way that was organized, very ready to go into my full steps. It was a good exercise. I, I, I don't think you have to do it in chalk on a veranda, uh, <laughs> but it's certainly a lot more fun. <laughs> While you're waiting for me to go live, check out this video here where I outline a scene using the scene card from Abby Evans. Get the truck and outliner quick. <laughs> you know, I go away now. <laughs>